to show you how to find the modal value and the modal interval um, when we're looking at data. So the first um, bit of data we're given is a list of ages and they've been put in order for us. We've got a seven year old, an eight year old, we've got three nine year olds, we've got a ten year old, two eleven year olds and a twelve year old. So the modal um, value or the mode will be the number that is the most frequent and we can see that nine has come up the most times. So the mode or modal value is nine from that list. If we say had a, um, another eleven and you saw that there were three nines and three elevens then you'd have two modes, you'd have nine and eleven. So it's possible to have more than one. Now if you're asked what the modal interval is, it's well, here are some intervals, intervals of age. We've been told that there are six people aged between 0 and 10. 10 people aged between 10 and 20. 4 between 20 and 30, and 3 from 30 up to 40. So the modal interval is the interval that has the highest frequency. Now a lot of people put the answer down incorrectly as 10. You, the question is which is the modal interval? And these are the interval descriptors. So you simply have to copy out the, um, the inequality that describes the interval. So the interval is people that are aged 10 up to 20. It's written um, as x is greater than or equal to 10, less than 20. And that is the modal interval. And that's often a mark that is lost. When you think about it, it's really quite easy to get.